First of all, first of all, quickly. <clears throat> Why are we here? We're here so as to create more awareness about the sea. Okay? We are an island. We are surrounded by the sea. We have much more sea than we have land. You know, the islands are really small, the Maltese islands. But we have a lot of sea out there. And we don't know what there is in the, in the, inside that sea. We don't know. If you don't know, you cannot appreciate. You cannot appreciate something you don't understand. So that's why we brought you here, because you are the future of this country. And obviously, we want you, we need you to be fully aware of the beauty of the sea around us, so that when you grow up, you start taking decisions, you will do everything you can to help protect this beautiful sea around us. So that is why we are here. That is why all these people, and there's been a lot of people working on this event. I cannot thank all of them because there's too many. So I, I will try, okay? So my group at the University of Malta, our oceanography group, okay? So we are from the group of oceanography research group. So perhaps in future, we will see some of you within the Department of Geosciences. I have the head of the Department of Geosciences here. So some of you, hopefully in future, will study oceanography and geosciences, okay? So this is also a way through which we um, make, invi invite you to this beautiful world of sciences, of geosciences, of oceanography, okay? So my group here, I wish to thank all of them, okay? I'm not going by names because <laughs> there's too many. I wish to thank the Aquarium, obviously, for their unstinting support. You know, you're a big group, you are almost 200 here. So to manage, and we're sorry if we, it kept you a bit waiting in the beginning, but it took some time, okay? I wish to thank all the teachers and the educators here, obviously, who accompanied you, okay? Um, I wish to thank, obviously, as well, Minister Miriam Dalli, the Environment Minister, who is with us. I want to thank also the Italian Ambassador, and you'll see why we invited the Italian Ambassador very soon, okay? I wish to thank ERA, our partners as well on the project, and Heritage Malta, okay, our partners. I wish to thank IOI. International Ocean Institute, these are all important partners when it comes, actors when it comes to the sea. And also representative from the French Embassy as well, okay, who, who is here. I hope I didn't uh, forget anybody, and obviously people from PBS and the journalists and so on. So I'll stop here. I'll just end with one last message, okay? Don't let this occasion today be just a fun activity and that's it, okay? Keep it in your heart and in your mind so that in future, Okay, you keep working in the sector if it interests you. Okay, there's a lot of opportunities, technology, you see all the digital stuff we showed you today, and this is just a taste. Eh? There's much more, so there are more and more opportunities. So think about sciences, about environmental management, about the environment, about the oceanography, marine sciences, and so on. Okay, thank you. So now I invite our head of the department, Dr. Uh, Professor Sebastiano D'Amico. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank you, Minister, Ambassadors, and uh, a chairperson of uh, ERA. And thanks for, uh, to Professor uh, Deidun that actually organized this event. As he said, you are the future. We would like to have you guys and even your classmates or uh, schoolmates that are not here to be more involved in the environment. Environment is what we need to preserve for the future. You're going to grow up. You need to have care and take care of the environment. That's why we're here. So you need to actually even push a little bit with your teachers that I know that they're doing an amazing job already, but you need to push a little bit more to go to science and to the environment, which is extremely important. So we're here to support, thanks also to uh, several projects that are funded this research. So what you're seeing here is the fun part of it, but there is also something behind. And behind is a lot of work done to study, so keep studying and keep pushing ahead on this, okay? Don't, don't set a limit. Actually push that a little bit ahead as much as you can, okay? Now, we thank obviously the program of the Interreg Italia Malta because it's one of the main funder of uh, this project, so we need to thank both the Italian partners and the Maltese partners and authorities for letting us having fun. We are having fun after all. Okay, and uh, I will pass the mic to the Italian ambassador eventually for a few words. 
Thank you, thank you, good morning. Okay, you all know that Malta is an island, is an archipelago. Uh, what is Italy, you know? It's a peninsula surrounded by, by the sea in the same amount of Malta. Okay, we are a bit bigger, but uh, we have water everywhere. And uh, so that's the reason why we love each other so much, Italian and Maltese. Uh, I'm very happy to, to be here with Minister Dalli, with the French colleague, and of course uh, with the professors. And I'm quite proud that Italy, that my country, is collaborating in this very important project. Because as the professor said, uh, it's important that you have the awareness uh, of, the, of how sea, the sea is the, the future of, of our countries, the Mediterranean Sea. It's everything, uh, our history started here, and uh, we do really hope that we'll go on uh, in the sea. So, thank you for being here. Thank you, Minister. Thank you for the invitation. If uh, I will give the floor to my French colleague, and I tell you a secret that my French colleague, he comes uh, from an island, uh, so he will explain to you which one. All the best. <laughs> and, and, and how the professor said, keep on studying, but also enjoy life and do sports, uh, watch <laughs> movies. <laughs> so my French colleague. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Mr. Thank you, Professor Daydun. Thank you, Ambassador. I am very happy to be here to see that important to show the importance of the of the sea of the ocean uh, for the young generation that you are. And as uh, our Ambassador of Italian say, say that I am also from uh, an island. I am from Corsica, not so far from here, the north of Sardinia. But uh, I would like to give the, the speech to the. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Minister. So um, I leave the floor now uh, to Minister Dalli, okay, for her for her address, um, and uh, and obviously I'm very I'm very appreciative of the comments made by the previous speakers. We obviously try our best at the University of Malta not just to do research for the sake of research, but to do research which has an impact, positive impact on society. Which at the end of the day, that is why we get funded by the European Union. Okay, so Minister Dalli. Let me, thanks a lot. Let me start by saying a big thank you to Professor Alan Daydoon because I know how much he worked on this together with his team. So really, really well done. And I know how much uh, um, you wanted this to be a success. And I'm really glad to see 200 students here. Um, and you enjoyed yourselves, no? Good, good. So, you know, I want you to be a bit noisy, okay? The teachers probably will give me a bit of an awkward look, but it's fine. Um, so, a big thank you also to your teachers and educators for bringing you here. The biggest thank you and the biggest applause, Zimma, goes to you, right? Hey, yeah, big applause. All of you enjoyed it? I have a couple of questions, right? To see how much you actually understood. Mela, this side, the presentation on alien species. Is there one takeaway that you would tell your parents? Um, that we learned how, the, how alien species can come to the Mediterranean Ocean and in Malta. Something else? You wanted to say something? The same thing, okay. Um, that the lionfish can, is edible. Okay. And maybe we tell them that we can, what was that? The crab, the blue crab that we can, you know, um, cook the blue crab. Era has recipes for that so that we can help actually to reduce the population. You wanted to say something as well? That the alien species can be, that can hurt the animals living there. Good. Now, microplastics. Is there something you would tell your parents? So you saw also the equipment now to see what microplastics there are in the ocean, how we can reduce microplastics, for example? By not throwing plastic in the sea. 
and we need to tell the adults to do that as well, no? They're a bit, you know, more difficult to educate sometimes, no? Microplastics are the leftover of uh, um, plastics that uh, oh, then uh, went away, like, you know, been thrown away in the sea, and uh, after um, uh, they release the, the microplastics, which is pretty dangerous to fish, to every single sea life. Um, uh, and uh, plastic, too, is dangerous to mostly turtles, because they kill jellyfish. And I really, really would like you to study more when it comes to science, when it comes to physics, for example, when it comes to maths, okay? And study in general, because that is something that no one can take away from you, okay? So thank you once again for being here. Thank you once again for bringing this together. I loved every minute and I'm sure you did as well. So now continue enjoying what uh, has been prepared for you, okay? Thanks a lot. That's a